generations and generations, great leaders throughout history have used the handwritten letter as a force for good. From world leaders like Abraham Lincoln to Winston Churchill, heroes like MLK to Nelson Mandela, writers like C.S. Lewis and the Apostle Paul, all of these men use the handwritten letter as a way to shape their culture and influence the next generation after them. But unfortunately, it's become a lost art in our digital age. That's why we created Press On Paper Company. Hey Sharks, my name is Graham Williams. I'm from Gainesville, Georgia, and I'm currently the head of sales for a custom furniture company. My business is Press On Paper Company. We are a paper company that inspires and equips leaders to use their words for good. We believe that the handwritten letter is the most powerful form of communication that exists, especially now. Today, I'm seeking $75,000 for a 15% stake in our company. And we're gonna use that for new product development, inventory, trade shows, and sales and operations. And we're excited. So press on paper company. What makes us unique? Are you kidding? We're trying to revive the handwritten letter to inspire and equip men to use their words for good. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that women are a little better than us at communicating, showing gratitude, all those sorts of things. But all the products in the industry, they're geared for the female. So when I was out there and I needed product, I said, hey, there's not a brand that I wanted to attach myself to. So I started asking around different guys. They felt the same way. We want to change culture. We want to change the view of masculinity. We want to show that it's possibly a man that's strong, but kind. Confident, but humble. Someone who can show their emotions, but isn't necessarily controlled by them. We think that words hold power. They hold weight. We believe a good word changes everything. Cultures have been shaped, and individuals have been changed simply by a handwritten letter. So what we want to do is we want to equip the men that are already doing this and then we want to raise up a next generation of men. We want to see men writing their wives, their daughters, their sons, their colleagues and their neighbors. We want to see them use their words in a way that can impact people and change their lives. With all of our products, we put a ton of thought into design, quality craftsmanship, and we use some of the best paper here in the United States. Each item is embossed or letterpressed, and every box that we ship out of is hand stamped by one of the members on our team. We did a soft launch at the end of December around Christmas time, and we have seen that people love the idea and they love the product. We launched into the marketplace online and even had some wholesale stores reach out to us about selling. We have a hard launch planned mid-June, and we are so excited. Since December 15th, when we launched, we've done $10,000 in sales. This was during our soft launch period, and we have big plans for mid-June as we advance into the wholesale market. We project our sales for 2019 to be right around $100,000. In 2020, we're going to another level. We wanna sell in 1,000 stores across the country, and we project $550,000 in sales in 2020. I've invested close to $20,000 in Press On, in addition to the rest of my team's time and money that we have set aside for trade shows coming this summer. We're different from any other product in the market because we are really centrally going after being a brand that inspires and equips. We're inspiring with content and we're equipping with high quality letterpress products that get people excited about being a brand that they want to attach to. So how did this begin? So I come from a family where both of my granddads were entrepreneurs. One of them actually created the first mustard-based barbecue sauce. He was one of 11 kids and eight boys. They grew barbecue restaurants across the state with over 50 in the state of South Carolina. I grew up working in these restaurants when I was seven years old. And after college, my uncle asked me to take their barbecue sauce and try to grow it across the entire country. Well, I took that challenge and we sold in over 1,500 stores across the nation. I sold my family's product with pride, but eventually it was time to move on. Some others had contacted me and asked me to help them grow their business. One was a custom furniture company, the next was a greeting card company. 
where I sold a product in over 50 stores in less than three months. During my time selling products in specialty stores, there wasn't anything that made me want to buy paper and want to use it. But then, there came to be a low point in my life. I had some issues with addiction, I was walking through recovery. There were some men that came alongside me and used their words in a powerful way. They reminded me who I was. When I read their words, it inspired me. And it showed me just how important the handwritten letter could be. I was at a eulogy, an older man was speaking, and he referenced this phrase, press on. Forgetting what is behind me, I press on to this higher goal. And that phrase stuck with me. For two years, I held on to that phrase. As I was walking through recovery, phrases like press on, one day at a time, progress, not perfection. I held on to those things. They kept me sane and encouraged me to keep moving. It was during that time that I realized Men need this message. We need to be reminded that we can talk about things that are going on. We need to be prodded on and pushed forward to the next goal. We all need some help sometimes. And I believe that the handwritten letter is the most powerful way to inspire, equip, and encourage. Press on means a ton to me. Not just because of our product, but because of our mission. Something interesting about me. Well, I'm the oldest of five awesome kids. Seriously, my siblings are the best. Uh, I used to live in Hawaii where I worked with a surfing organization. Got to go with them to North Korea where we taught surfing for the first time in that country four years ago. Our biggest challenge so far has been simply money and exposure. We believe with the right exposure and once we hit into the trade show world, we can make a positive dent in our culture and in the marketplace. We're asking you to look back at the leaders before us. Look at what they did well. They used their words for good. They impacted people. They looked for opportunities to encourage and show gratitude. Gratitude changes the way we view ourselves and it changes the way other people view the world. We want to see that happen in our culture. And so we are trying to revive the art of the handwritten letter. We believe that a good word truly changes everything. And so we want to give people the good words and see them, use them in a way that creates lasting impact.